This is the third part of visiting the French Riviera. Today I'm going to show you Saint Tropez and Port Grimaldo. Welcome to my channel. Enjoy life after 50. I'm Karina Mabstedt. Port Grimaud, Little Venice of Provence, an unprecedented project at the time. The coastal town of the Port Grimaud is now a popular destination that is well loved for its laid back way of life. Wander along the canals, take a boat trip or count the different colors on the facades. There are so many reasons to love the Little Venice of Provence. This seaside town was created by architect Francois Spoury in the 1960s by modifying in the marshes of the river Gisel on the Bay of Saint-Tropez. Built with channels in a Venetian manner with French fisherman style houses resembling those in Saint-Tropez, Spoury called his style L'Architecture Douce. This town is only seven and a half kilometers west of Saint-Tropez and worth a visit. Now we are starting to get a little a bit longing for taking our boat into the water. International tourist Mecca Saint Tropez, mythical tame, has played a large part in the renown of the whole French Riviera. Saint Tropez became Saint Trop when the show business people, artists, and writers all fell under the spell of this charming little port in the 1950s. In the summer, those days, you could bump into Picasso and other famous people. With the arrival of Brigitte Bardot in the 60s, the myth was installed for good. Since then, Saint Tropez has become the in vacation spot for chic Parisians and the international jet set. The nightlife is very lively. Several private parties are held each evening in the luxurious villas of the Gulf where some of the guests arrive by helicopter to avoid traffic jams. For me, saint Tropez was not that extra as I thought it should be. Perhaps I have two big thoughts of saint Tropez, uh, And I think that, yeah, I'm satisfied now, I have seen. last episode on our visit in French Riviera. I hope you liked it, I hope you will subscribe and talk to each other soon. Bye bye!